The walleye opener two weeks ago could not have been more different from this past weekend's bass opener. The weather was absolutely beautiful, and I took advantage by joining Ray Gildow of the Nisswa Guide Service on North Long Lake. The temperatures hovered in the mid to upper 70s on Saturday, as opposed to the 30s of the walleye opener two weeks earlier. Ray Gildow chose a rubber worm for the bass opener on a one 32nd ounce mushroom jig head. And I'm just going to go right up through that hook and I'm going to go over this little catch on that mushroom jig head so the worm doesn't slide off. Pop it right over there, bury the hook up in there, and we have a pretty lightweight, fairly reasonable weedless worm. The technique requires patience, letting the worm drop to the bottom, then slowly pulling it up and reeling it in to eliminate the slack. Pitch, drop, lift slowly, and we feel the tick, smack it. Gildow says anglers should not shy away from bass just because they prefer the taste of walleye. Soak them for about six, seven hours in buttermilk, and when you cook them, you will not be able to tell the difference between a bass and a walleye. And these are perfect eaters. I always say throw back those big girls, but let, those are, that's a good eater right there. We primarily work to the transition areas between the flat and the weeds in anywhere from four to eight feet of water. We caught seven bass and one northern pike in about one and a half hours of fishing. And believe it or not, I caught just as many fish as Gildow. Got ourselves a northern. It's, a, I think, a very good bass opener in the Brainerd Lakes area and I'm guessing that the rest of the state is probably going to be very similar. So get out there and catch some of those monsters. Gildow will take over our Fish Tips segment every Thursday night beginning June 4th. We thank former Fish Tips host Paul Nelson for his years of wisdom and generosity. Best of luck, Paul. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.